Hi, I'm Mike Benton for AllShadow.com, and today we are taking a look at the Touch Pro 2. First, let's unbox it. Now, let's compare it to a few other devices that you may be familiar with. Okay, here we have a dash, the original dash. The wing. Shadow. G1 UMA Shadow Dash 3G and the My Touch 3G We also have a dry erase marker 3 by 5 card, and an army guy. Dun, dun, dun. What is noticeable about these comparisons is that the Touch Pro 2 is larger than all the other devices, and heavier. In fact, it weighs 188 grams, or just over 0.4 pounds. It's a lot of weight. So let's go in for a close-up and analyze what we can. Some quick specs. The Touch Pro 2 has a 528 MHz processor, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, an accelerometer, 3.2 megapixel camera, and more. But for now, we're just going over the surface. First off, the 480 by 800 pixel screen is beautiful. Pictures show up crisp, just like they should. The Touch Flow interface is a welcome addition while we wait for Windows Mobile to catch up in digital ergonomics class. Without going into too much detail, there are different tabs in the TouchFlow user interface for just about all the functions you are accustomed to using on the phone. You can flick your way across, tap on tabs, or use the slider bar. Back to the hardware. One feature missing from the Touch Pro 2 is a directional pad of any kind. While it does present a smoother appearance and allow for more screen real estate, I'm still hesitant to call this change good. The four buttons on the front are your usual fare, the send key, home key, back key, and end key. If you hold down the send key, it will open up voice command. Holding down the home key and back key doesn't do anything, and uh, holding down the end key will lock the phone. The send key is configurable for opening any program, and the back key is also configurable, but only for a few functions. Also worth mentioning is this zoom slide. The left side of the phone holds the, holds the volume buttons and the micro SD slot. So that'll hold an SDHC card and uh, right now the 16 gigabyte cards are the biggest ones on the market and soon we'll be looking at 32 gigabytes. The top holds the power button. Holding this down will turn the phone on and off. Pressing it quickly will turn the screen on and off. The right side has the soft reset button and a microphone, and the bottom has the proprietary mini USB port. Oh, and the wonderful stylus. On the back side is the mysterious mute button. Actually, it's really not that mysterious. While you're in the middle of a call, if you place the phone face down, it will instantly turn into a high quality speaker phone. This mute button will mute your voice or any other sounds in the room so the other caller can't hear it. I like this feature, but what I don't like about it is there's no indicator light telling me that the call is being muted. So you have to turn it back over to see if it is. Right next to that is the 3.2 megapixel camera. The Touch Pro 2 is capable of recording video. Apparently, it records VGA at 15 frames per second onto the keyboard. The slide mechanism feels smooth and solid. Including the closed position, the screen has two other positions, the open and the tilt. While in the open position, you have access to all of the well-spaced and tactile keys. In the tilt position, the screen blocks some of the upper row, so a little bit more difficult to get to. One thing worth mentioning is the placement of the power button. While holding the phone and typing away, you might accidentally hit it 
and turn the screen off. Also worth mentioning is the volume keys on the bottom. So you could actually accidentally hit those and then be tied up with this volume screen which has a very long delay for timing out. The full QWERTY keyboard is large enough with enough space between the keys to actually get some work done. So it's not that hard to actually type on this and it didn't take long to get used to. As I mentioned before, the Touch Pro 2 has some heft to it, giving it a rich feel. The design is geared towards the professional business person with a serious need for some options. The color scheme is refined and you won't be hesitant to pull this phone out at a meeting and put it on the conference table. You know what? It just might get you promoted. So overall, the Touch Pro 2 exudes class. This is the phone many T-Mobile customers have been waiting for. As we near the end of this video, I just want to mention that this isn't a complete review and there is more to come in future videos. So stay tuned in order to make a well-informed decision on if the Touch Pro 2 is worth its cost. Be sure to check out our website, forums, wiki, and store at allshadow.com for the latest and greatest tips, tricks, hacks, mods, and reviews for T-Mobile smartphones. Until next time, I'm Mike Benton for allshadow.com.